Samantha Chian, your host with Spirit and Nevada. This episode is brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm, helping families and injured victims throughout Nevada for over 40 years. Hope you enjoy the show. Clara Bow was a famous actress during the 1920s and 1930s. After her hit movie titled It was released, many took notice of her talents and she quickly became known as Hollywood's It Girl. Her ability to show emotion on camera without words and her vibrant personality made her a major box office draw during the silent film era. While the glitz and glam of Hollywood fascinated the public, Clara Bow was a rancher at heart, and she desired nothing more than to have a family and live what others call a normal life. She spent most of her days working in the middle of the beautiful Nevada desert at her ranch with the love of her life, cowboy and actor Rex Bell. I thought she was the most marvelous star of the 20s because she was the 20s, really. Garbo came from Europe and uh, Swanson was already very sophisticated. Dressy and Cecil B. DeMille was... Clara was, as she called herself, the real jazz baby. She was a true Hollywood star, and I am lucky enough to shed some light into her fascinating life here at the Walking Box Ranch. This place is beautiful, right? Just look around and there's Joshua trees everywhere. It's quiet. This home right here, it's not just any home. Hollywood stars lived here and they had style. They may not be around today, but I'm telling you their legacy still lives on here in Nevada. Clara Bow and Rex Bell lived here. It was a working cattle ranch. They were big Hollywood stars. Clara Bow was known as the It Girl. She made her way in the film industry. Everybody wanted to be around her. And she just wanted to escape at times, like all of us, get away from the chaos of the everyday life, especially in Hollywood. This is where they had their two kids. Rex Jr. and George, they would play out in the desert. They had a pool, and Clara Bow was a big car collector. She had a walking driveway, if you follow me over here, right here. It's where she kept all of her cool cars. She had a sense of fashion, and she always made sure to be dolled up in her mirrors around the home, which you'll see, they are actually built into the door. Not the ones you hang over, but she thought of every little detail, from the mirrors around to every window, that overlooks this beautiful desert. They call this place home. All right, so we're gonna meet up with Ron right now and he's gonna give us an exclusive tour of the Walking Box Ranch. Hello. Hi there, Samantha, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well, how are you doing? Doing quite well, welcome to Walking Box Ranch. Thank you, this place is beautiful. I've been here before, it was about a year ago, but I didn't get a chance to see the actual property inside it. Okay. So 
I'm really excited to Great. be here. Today we can take you into the house and show you where uh, Clara Bow and Rex Bell lived with their two sons out here for about 10 years in the 1930s and uh, into the 40s. So I have to ask, what is your involvement here? I am a member of the board of directors of the Friends of Walking Box Ranch, which is a nonprofit organization that partners with Bureau of Land Management and University of Nevada. Way cool! All right, well, let's begin, if you don't mind, sure. showing me around. Let's go. We can okay. go up to the house, which is in this direction. So how big is this property? Well, the existing property is 40 acres. That includes the ranch house, the barn, the corrals, and the surrounding desert area. It's really neat out here. Now, what kind, what kind of style home is this that we're about to walk into? It's called uh, Spanish Colonial Revival Style, which the house itself was built in 1931. And originally, the ranch uh, was called Rancho Clarita, after Clara Bow. And eventually, uh, Rex Bell changed the name to Walking Box Ranch. Do we know why they call it the Walking Box Ranch? We do. Uh, in the silent movie era, movies were filmed on a camera called a walking box camera. It was on a tripod, and it was a square box on top of a tripod, which the cameraman would crank, and it would appear that the camera was walking along when they were filming with it. This is the original garage. I think it's like a five or six car garage that Clara kept her Cadillacs in. How many cars did she have? I'm not exactly sure. I know she liked Cadillacs and had a Cadillac collection at one time. So she was into her automobiles. Besides the movies, she was into automobiles as well. She was, definitely. Girl after my own heart. Yes. So All right, from here we can here. go into the yeah. pool area. Obviously the pool has since been filled in and topped with an acrylic uh, cover, so it won't, won't be damaged. No water in the pool at this time, although it looks like it. You don't want to go diving head first into that pool. No, not at all. So this is where she would sunbathe and relax and get away from the chaos of Hollywood. Exactly. This was her first love was this area around the pool and the rock garden, which used to be the rock garden behind you. The giant Joshua tree uh, is indicative of the surroundings here. One of the magnificent features of this property is the number and size of the Joshua trees. There are no other Joshua trees quite as large. And this wasn't here before. There was a, guard, a rock garden here before, correct? That is correct, yes. She loved spending a lot of time here. She would spend a lot of time in the rock garden and her children uh, loved being out in the pool area. She had two, correct? She had two boys. Two boys? Yes. Samantha, let's go into the house here. We can go into this door, which leads into the housekeeper's quarters. There was a live-in housekeeper here. This building has been so well kept here. So we're gonna enter the house here through the uh, housekeeper's quarters. This was a full bedroom and bathroom with a nice closet that was occupied by the housekeeper at the time. And if you'll notice the glass doorknobs. These are in really good condition. So yeah, they are original to the property. Um, when the property was acquired by the Bureau of Land Management, they did a complete historic reservation of the site. So what you're seeing doesn't look like it looked before a Bureau of Land Management acquired it. But after they did, they renovated the entire house to historic standards. Wow, this is neat. And in through here, in here would be a service porch area and the kitchen. And again, the kitchen is all original. The cabinets, uh, the tile, and so forth were just as it was when Clara and Rex lived here. So walking into each of these rooms, I just, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder what each of them look like fully furnished and what the things that Clara Bell had and Rex Bell had. Where, where could we find a lot of the memorabilia right now? 
Well, the actual physical objects and furnishings are at the University of Nevada at Las Vegas in a collection that they have of uh, the ranch implements and properties and so forth, personal property that belonged in the ranch. So that's where it is now. Wow, we're gonna have to check that out. All right, let's continue the tour. All right, so where are we right now in the house? So now we're in the great room, which is the largest area in the house. And it uh, had the dining room table in it, and it was all set up back in the day with furnishings in front of the fireplace and so forth. What are these? Are these original? The Those place? are the original light fixtures, yes, that were put in when the house was originally built back in 1931. Wow. I'm sure this was an awesome spot to host parties and, you know, Clark Gable used to come over here, correct? That's what I understand. That he was on the guest list on occasion. This is beautiful. What is this made out of? So this is all local stone from a stone quarry and mine that's up the road, up Walking Box Road. A lot of glittery, silvery stuff in the rocks here, which is mica. It looks like silver, but it's called mica. And the mine took over this place when they sold it, correct? That is correct. At a certain point in time, the property was owned by Viceroy Mining Company. They used it as a headquarters for their mining corporation. All right. So as we walk through, this room is known as the game room had a, obviously a built-in bar. Oh, this is neat. And the pool table used to be in here. The pool table, there was a roulette table, there were some slot machines. Mini Vegas, in other words, right here. A little right mini here Vegas, because Rex loved to entertain. And he would do so in this room. Now the pool table was used for the electric train set during Christmas time. Rex Bell Jr. tells the story of how he has recollections of having his train run around the top of the pool table. Oh, cute. On the Christmas holidays. I bet he had some good stories to tell. All right, so now we're gonna go to the upstairs portion of the house. How many bedrooms is this house? So the house actually has three bedrooms. There are the two bedrooms downstairs. Well, in addition to the uh, housekeeper's room, which also could be considered a bedroom, but this room up here was the master suite. This is oh, where Clara would come to retreat. I bet she had a wonderful view out here. Now, this was one of her favorite things was this sun porch, which was built here so she could have a place to sunbathe and also enjoy the view of the Joshua tree and the desert surroundings. You can tell she really liked being outdoors just by the open windows and access to outside. Yes, she really loved this place. She loved the seclusion and she loved to be able to get away from hassles of the Hollywood lifestyle. As a matter of fact, there, the house is, has full utilities that were brought in, full electric, water, uh, and so forth. The only thing that does not exist in this house and that you will not find is a telephone. There's no phone service ever brought into this house, and that was at the direction of Clara Bow. Wow, she really wanted to be away from the glitz and glam and disconnect from society. Correct. Each room captures the essence of Clara Bow. Her father was her biggest fan and lived at the Walking Box Ranch with her and Rex. But life wasn't always this glamorous for the beautiful bombshell. As a young girl, Clara grew up in poverty and was surrounded by physical and emotional abuse from her mother. Despite Clara's difficult upbringing, she still managed to create her own success in Hollywood. Bo appeared in 46 silent films and 11 talkies throughout her acting career. So this is all still part of the master suite up here. Very interesting wine storage. And I believe one of the closets in here is cedar lined to keep part of her wardrobe in. And safe from the moths. And then if you go further down the hallway here is her personal makeup area and her bathroom, uh, which is very colorful. I really- So like this is original, this color and this tile on the wall here? Yes, all the fixtures in this bathroom are original to the property. It's so pretty. Detail on here on the mirror even. 
and her makeup table. This has had a mirror over it, one of those mirrors with the lights around it. And again, beautiful views in every direction, which we part of the ambiance of the house here. More closet space. Now, I know she retreated here to get away from Hollywood and, and just being in that limelight. Do you still, do we still have the letters of the fans that would, they would send to her? She was a big time star in the 1920s. She was, she was an exceptionally big time star and I'm not exactly sure what happened to all of that. Yeah, I know she was in high that. demand. They wanted her to come back after she retired. Yes, and she did not do well in talking movies because she had a very thick Brooklyn accent which she never got rid of. So. Uh, the camera was in love with Clara. She was the it girl. When she hit the silver screen, uh, there was no one else like it. She caused an uproar due to her appearance and her ability to act with her face and show pure emotion without any speaking. So that's basically what made her a famous silent movie star. So I have to ask, I know you were a trial lawyer before and now you're working with the Friends of the Walking Box Ranch. What do you love the most about this place? Well, aside from the house itself, which is pretty special, the surroundings are just incomparable here. You don't, you don't find Joshua trees like this in too many places. And it's so entirely remote. I mean, if you want to escape, this is the place to come. Well, thank you so much for this tour. I'm beyond grateful for you having us here today. And, sure. and this is a big deal. She was, she was huge at a time where everybody went to the movies. I mean, she was the girl that everyone wanted to be around. And out of all the places in the world she could live in, she picked Searchlight and the Walking Box Ranch. So The it girl. The it girl. Yes, she was. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Absolutely. I had such an amazing time touring the Walking Fox Ranch. Ron was super informative, and the last time I was here, I was only able to see it from outside the fence. And this time, thanks to the friends of the Walking Fox Ranch and BLM, we came inside and we got to see the house. This was definitely a bucket list item. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode and make sure to check their website because they'll be giving exclusive tours in the near future. And I'm Samantha Chion, but you can call me Sam with Spirit of Nevada. Brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing I want to tell you guys. I know I'm supposed to end it, but what she did that I love, Clara Bow, is that she really followed her dream. She became that it Hollywood star, but she also stayed true to who she was. She loved being a cattle rancher and she loved the desert and being away from the noise. So whatever you do in life, just do it and be happy. That's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, that's a wrap. Let's go. Come on, we got more adventures to follow. Let's go. <laughs> we got to work on the next television show. Well, actually, next television episode for our show. <laughs>